Today we're going to talk about how to replace the foam on a car seat. So you can see that the foam on this car seat was pretty squished. So the first thing we did was remove the seat, take the cover off of the seat and expose all the foam. Then you're gonna take just a regular turkey cutter and cut out the damaged or the compressed section Try to be as smooth as possible here. You don't want to take out any more than you have to. Then you're going to take your new foam and you're going to cut a square large enough to fit into the section of the original seat that you cut out, um, but with some room for error. So you can use the piece that you cut out as a guide to how much foam you're going to need. Once you have your section, you're going to continue to use the piece you cut out as a guide so you can get it as close to the exact shape and size as you need. And you're gonna continue using that old piece as a guide. Then you're going to spray some glue into the hole of the seat that you had cut out and fit the piece into the seat. You just want it to be able to fit in enough and then from here you can take your knife or your, in this case, electric turkey cutter and get it close to the right size and shape while later you will be filing it down. So right here, you're just kind of getting it so it can fit, removing any dangling pieces. And you can see that he's not having to be extremely precise. He's just cutting it at all the right angles and then he can smooth it out with the file. And here he is filing. You just want to make it smooth. You want to make the transition from the new piece to the original seat as smooth as possible so you don't feel any bumps and you don't feel any hard glue. You can just rub it and make sure that you're not feeling any cracks or creases. This is where you want to be a little bit more precise, but you will be putting a foam cover over it so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. But here we try to be as close as possible. And then you'll take your air compressor and you'll clean it up and get all of the little pieces of dust off. Then you'll take your pink foam cover and you'll spray it with glue. And then you'll wrap that around the original seat. And once you have it really nicely smoothed, smoothed on there, you can take your scissors and start trimming around the seat. Once you have cut all of that cover, you'll go ahead and place the original seat cover back on, the vinyl or the leather. Then you'll take your pliers and you'll reattach everywhere that has the wire clamp. Go ahead and stretch it on there. You want it as tight as possible so you don't have any ripples on the other side. You want it to look smooth and fresh and brand new. Then you'll go ahead and attach the bottom of the seat 
back into the chair and the seat. Uh, there are several attachment pieces that you'll hook up and then you can begin attaching electronics. After you use the clips, you'll plug in all your electronics. You can place your hard plastic covers next and then you'll screw that in and take your drill and put the remaining screws in the bottom of the seat. Once you're done with that, you will be ready to place your seat back into the car, reattaching it to the electric in the car and to the seat belt. He's just finishing up stretching that bottom of the seat and clipping it on right now. Can be pretty tight, which makes it a little bit difficult, but it's so worth it to have a brand new cushion. It's not comfortable to sit on that compacted seat. All right, here we go putting it back in the car.